Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, doctor, okay. uh, we have a role play that uh, the patient thinks that uh, his or her um, knee, uh, his back hair, uh, has a, a larger size uh, in um, uh, uh, comparison to the last visit. Uh, but the doctor should say that no, uh, its size uh, is uh, the same as the before. Uh, how we can say it uh, in a, the best way? You have a size, um, you know, I mean that it is, uh, is uh, um, we want to say the best, uh, find the best sentence for that. Right, okay. So basically, um, um, it's when you want to tell the patient that uh, he or she is wrong and it's, uh, this is what he or she believes, okay? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, okay, first we need to examine here. Yeah? So after examination, uh, yes. uh, you can say, mm, yeah, you can say, well, uh, to be honest, uh, uh, I don't think uh, there is much change in size. I understand it might feel larger, but uh, in reality, this is not the case, okay? So, um, uh, we, we basically, we say, uh, um, after examination, you can say that, well, um, I don't think it is, it has changed, okay? Uh, in my opinion, it hasn't changed. Okay. It hasn't changed. That's right. Uh, so you can say, well, um, at the last time it was, uh, I measured it, it was, it was five centimeters, and it is five centimeters, uh, um, cool. So it so yes so it hasn't changed, okay. And Anything doctor, else? Uh, yes, um, I wanted to say as a doctor to patient, if your knee uh, in the last uh, in the next uh, review visit, if your knees uh, cases uh, uh, will not improve, I will uh, manage a. Uh, consultant for you and I didn't know to uh, use uh, what condition uh, sentence okay um, right so uh, your condition is uh, if uh, uh, if it gets bigger uh, next time mm -hmm. uh, uh, then uh, uh, we can Refer you to see. It's first condition, doctor. Am I correct? Uh, yes, because uh, it is future. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, the first conditional. Is, I mean, we have three types of conditional. The first type is uh, future possible. Okay. So you're talking about future. Uh, the second type is present unreal. And uh, the third type is past unreal. Okay, uh, so basically, um, when you uh, talk about future, it is future possible. Okay. And doctor, uh, in this case, that was a review uh, visit. Uh, in the criteria, uh, in the. Um, uh, part E1, establishing initially what the patient already knows. Uh, does it need to ask uh, the patient any particular question about this part? Because there isn't anything new for patient. It's a review visit. Uh, it's a review visit, yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, what are you going to explain to the patient? Uh, we are going to say that uh, the cyst is in the same size and uh, we will observe it again and we will uh, give time to the knee and uh, we have, will have a review visit after three months. Uh, okay, so well, in that case you have discussed it before, yes, uh, as you say, but you just mention it instead of asking 
um, uh, how much do you know about this? You just say, well, uh, I think we uh, we had a discussion uh, uh, mm -hmm. about the uh, Baker Sis last time, but um, okay. uh, is there anything you uh, you would like to ask me, or is there anything you would like me to uh, explain to you, uh, or um, you remember everything? Okay. So you, you, okay. Yeah, you can right. you can you can check that. Okay. Okay, thanks, Doctor. All right. This is called thanks sign so sign uh, signposting thing. Okay, so uh, yes. you just say uh, just mention it, uh, uh, mention and reference, and say that uh, and we discussed uh, Baker's cyst uh, last time. Is that right? Okay, so you can say. Uh, we discussed it last time, and uh, is there anything you would like you would like me to explain or to discuss? Okay, anything else? No, I haven't. No. Okay. So, um, who do we have today? Who's number one? Me, doctor. Your name? I still cannot recognize your voices. Uh, <laughs> number two. Okay. Number three. Number four. Okay. Number five is. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you remember the uh, the criteria, yes, and what yes. we should do. Okay. Uh, so, where are we? Uh, which yeah. one should we look? Uh, Fifteen. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, which page is that? Page fifteen. Yes. Okay. Right. This is the community health center. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, would you like me to be the patient? Yes. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, sir. So, What's the difference yes. between community health center and surgery or clinic? Um, nearly the same, but um, yeah, a community health center is usually a bigger place, um, okay. and there are other specialties, uh, not specialties, there are other disciplines, like there might be physiotherapy or um, vaccinations or um, health visitors, things like that. Like or okay. better? Yes, yes, like a, 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 a health center, yeah, yeah. Mark has a bear yes. Yes. Okay, uh, so uh, who's first? Uh, do you need uh, one minute or three minutes? One minute is okay. One minute is okay, okay, so let me set my timer and for one minute. Okay, let's go. Okay. Um, hello. Uh, please come in and have a seat, please. My okay. Name thank Dr. you. Hello. My name is Dr. Uh, one of the physicians in this uh, health center. How can I help you today? Uh, well, doctor, uh, you know, this is um, really troubling me. I've had these uh, mouth ulcers uh, several times and uh, it is um, really uh, making me miserable. I don't know what to do. Um, so uh, it, I had this six months ago. Um, and then, uh, yeah, also uh, a few times when I was a child. 
But uh, okay. these few months, uh, I've been very stressed and I have had a lot of uh, ulcers. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, 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 excuse me, how should I address you? Um, uh, just uh, call me Bob. Bob. Okay, Bob. And uh, okay, Bob, uh, you have uh, some ulcers in your mouth that uh, uh, they have been in your mouth uh, since uh, six months ago. And also you have had them uh, since you was a child and also you are stressful uh, am i correct uh that's right it's and it is really um you know it uh, it stops me from my work and i can't speak i can't even eat or drink and uh yeah it's it's so bad you know it, uh, really interfering with my life and you know my okay. job is um is uh, talking and entertaining people, so um, I need to speak a lot. Mm -hmm. I totally understand how it should be hard for you uh, by this uh, work. And uh, if you don't mind, uh, I'm going to ask you some questions. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And... Um, about these uh, ulcers, uh, do you have uh, any other uh, significant condition besides these ulcers that you want to know me? No, it's just the ulcers. I, do, I don't have any other problem. I'm mm, quite healthy. Okay, very good. And uh, what about these ulcers? Uh, the, you said that uh, they have pain. Is it right? Uh, it's, it, yeah, it is quite painful and sore. Okay, and uh, do you, uh, um, have you seen any discharge or pus inside them? Mm, no, um, I don't feel that, it's just painful. Okay, and uh, tell me about uh, your um, hygiene. Uh, do you brush your uh, teeth regularly? Yeah, three times a day. Oh, great. And uh, what about smoking? Do you smoke? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. And what about drinking, uh, Bob? Uh, do you drink? No. Okay. And uh, let me know about your family. Uh, uh, is there any significant disease in your family? Uh, my, um, my father had... Uh, sort of cancer in the tongue and oh. okay. uh, yes but but he had it removed and he was okay after that mm -hmm. good to him okay uh, then your father has a tongue cancer had a tongue uh, tongue cancer and right. uh, about yourself Bob do you bite your tongue or lips mm, not that I know of it's uh, yeah, I might do when I'm asleep, but uh, I don't know. I haven't noticed that. Okay. And uh, have you recently had any common cold or any um, disease? Uh, I had a cold. Okay. Uh, I had a cold, uh, I think it was a month ago. Okay. 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 And, uh, okay, Bob, uh, then you said me that uh, these uh, ulcers uh, have pain and they affect on your speaking and you have a stressful job, you said that to me, and uh, your hygiene is good and uh, your father uh, had a tongue cancer. Uh, do you have any other information to add? Mm, no, that's it. Okay, and uh, uh, if you don't... Doctor, I have okay. a, 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 you know, <laughs> oh. okay, uh, let's carry on uh, and see, okay. okay. Uh, so, yeah, doctor, I have a, a, a very important meeting tomorrow. So is there anything I can, you can give me to clear this um, in 24 hours? Uh, sure, I will help you with that. Uh, don't be worried. Uh, beside that, uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to examine you. Is it okay? Yes, it's fine. Okay. okay. 
and uh, my examination is over. Uh, Bob, uh, based on information you gave me and uh, your uh, examination, I have found that I believe uh, you are suffering from a condition that's uh, called uh, aftus ulcer. Uh, do you have uh, heard anything about it? Uh, I I have heard about it. I have read something in the internet. I know it's they are benign and they they're not uh, cancer and they come and go. But uh, what what causes these? Uh, is there anything I can do to stop them? You know the exact cause of office ulcers. Um, they uh, haven't found that, but uh, there are some uh, reasons that we think uh, they can. Um, cause it, uh, such as impaired uh, immune system, that uh, stress, uh, kind of stressful condition, the same as that you have in your work, it uh, causes it. And uh, also some uh, viruses or some uh, fungus uh, can uh, cause it. And we will help you by uh, supporting these conditions. You know, um, if you don't mind, uh, we can now uh, speak about your treatment and uh, see how that uh, see what options that you can do. Uh, what options I have? Uh, okay, so uh, yes, so that is the antiseptic gel, but that doesn't work. Uh, it I, I've always used that, but it doesn't work. And uh, just um, I had some uh, also some numbing gel uh, to numb my mouth uh, so I can eat. Uh, but it didn't help either, so. Okay. Is there uh, anything else I can do? Yes, uh, you said that, you said antiseptic gels? Yeah, I, I have used that, it doesn't help. I have used the numbing gel as well to help with eating, it hasn't worked. Okay, um, let me explain for you, Bob, that uh, this condition uh, usually resolves by itself uh, during one or two weeks. But uh, in your condition that uh, you have an emergent condition that uh, tomorrow you should uh, be in a, um, I think you said that you have a meeting, uh, we can help you by some uh, anti-inflammatory drugs that uh, laser your pain and you can speak uh, normally. And uh, also, uh, I can uh, recommend you other gels that may help you more than the others. Uh, how it feel to you? How does it sound? Okay, yeah, that's, I, I go for that, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. thank it's you, great. doctor. Uh, it was good to see you. Please don't hesitate to call me if you have any question. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Uh, right. Uh, so how do you feel? You know, uh, I waste my time in the, the part that I uh, gathering information. I should uh, summarize it and uh, to all, only speak the important uh, questions. And I think I should shift to other questions, to other, to giving information and uh, other parts. Uh, right. Okay. So, what is what is your feeling? Do you do you feel it? Uh, so you're not very happy with uh, with uh, because you were short yes. of time. Okay. Yes, I think that it was not a complete uh, consultant. I should do it more better. Okay. So, uh, what did you do well? Um, I think. Um, uh, I don't know if I am correct. I think uh, uh, in comparison with the last session, I had a good fluency and uh, I was okay and I have I didn't have any stress and I try to um, ask all the questions that can cause uh, after ulcer. Okay. And uh, you, you know my relationship building I think was good and I could. Uh, make a good uh, relationship with the patient. Yeah, your report was good. Your fluency, gathering and information, I summarized. summarized. Yes, I summarized. I signpost. Of course, signpost in okay. the additional time, not in my own time. Okay. Uh, what do you think you could do better? 
uh, I should uh, manage my time and uh, uh. choose the best questions that uh, can uh, give me the mark and not uh, the extra questions and uh, to uh, make time for other parts of criteria, such as giving the information, asking the patient what did he know about the uh, disease. Uh, why do you think your uh, questioning took so long? That's because, five minutes. Uh, I, because in five minutes, I only could ask about uh, the um, gather information. I, I couldn't uh, add any other thing to patient. Okay. Did you have any repetitions? Uh, repetitions in, in in gathering information. I don't think so. That's right. No. Okay. Because, uh, maybe maybe uh, kind of the other health conditions. Uh, first, I uh, asked the patient, "Do you have any other conditions?" Conditions, and again, I ask about the common cold. I could ask. Uh, um, could have uh, didn't I couldn't have asked it. You could have not asked it. Okay, so uh, yes. um, is common cold relevant? Uh, you know, I think that uh, I said common cold. I um, main uh, my goal was herpes simplex. I um, wanted to know if uh, he had a viral infection in his body. Right. So you thought it might be herpes. You know herpes? Yes. We say herpes, okay? Herpes. Herpes, herpes. infection. Herpes, herpes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, herpes. Right. Okay. Uh, anything else you could do better? Uh, of course. Uh, I'm trying, now I'm trying to uh, improve my uh, linguistic features. Uh, grammar, okay. vocab. Uh, variety of sentences. Okay, uh, so right. Okay, uh, so how about others? What do you think? Uh, what do you think? Uh, yes, uh, I think it was overall good and uh, some mistake. Uh, I think uh, had uh, er and early summarizing. I did a summarize at earlier stage before asking question. And... Uh, uh, Okay. And after it that, it was checking. It wasn't summarizing. I know which part you say. I wanted to show the patient that I uh, listened to him at the first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I did not, sorry. We will discuss that. Okay. Uh, um, carry on. And other thing, uh, I think everything was uh, good and structure providing was good. Use uh, suffering. It it wasn't good. And mm -hmm. uh, another thing, uh, I think uh, she said your ex based on your examination. I think we should have said uh, based on my examination. Okay. Or or based on uh, the examination. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so, uh, yep. Yeah, um, um, what do you think? Um, uh, I think uh, uh, it uh, performs, uh, she performs uh, uh, very well uh, in the role play. Uh, okay. Yes, but I think uh, uh, she uh, has um, some mistakes in uh, pronunciation. Right. Uh, for example, okay. she uh, says uh, she said uh, uh, kissed, but uh, I think cyst uh, is correct. Yeah. Uh, ulcer, she yeah. pronounced uh, ulcer. That's uh, right. Some affect, I think affect, uh, something like that. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, okay. Today we had ulcer, kissed. Again, so you say that again? Also effect. Effect. Uh, no, effect. cyst. Cyst. Yeah, that is cyst, not kissed, huh? Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is ulcer. Ulcer. 
Okay. Also, and and herpes. Her herpes, yeah. Herpes. herpes. Uh, um, this uh, effect with A is effect, okay? Eh. And with E, it is effect. So it's a small E, okay? Uh, pronunciation. Herpes. Huh? Okay. Herpes. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Anything else? The, in the, um, she she um, performs uh, well in relation building, uh, yep. and uh, uh, she. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think uh, you have uh, some concerns about uh, speaking, uh, and uh, she couldn't empathy. She uh, yes, uh, don't uh, uh, have empathy about your uh, feeling and concerns. Uh, uh, showing uh, empathy. Yes. Uh, In this so situation, but she overall has uh, some uh, empathy, but okay. in the, this. Situation, uh, she don't have. She okay. didn't have any empathy. Okay, uh, guys, it is overall. Uh, we don't say overally. Uh, uh, overall, okay. Uh, right. Overall, okay. Overall. As uh, okay. Uh, how about? Uh, what do you think? Uh, I think she did uh, her role very well. <clears throat> uh, fluency was good. Uh, time managing, uh, mm, as you know, uh, have mm, has some problem, uh, and uh, chunking and uh, checking uh, could be better. Okay. And all, and uh, finally, I think uh, she over uh, she usually overuse summarizing. Okay, overuse of summarizing. Overuse, overuse, yeah, overuse summarizing, and. Uh, with uh, with all due respect to your opinion, I I uh, I checked, and uh, I think suffering uh, is it acceptable uh, word uh, according to Langman and uh, other uh, other um, textbook. Suffering is not often often offending offending word, doctor. Do you agree? Uh... Uh, right. It uh, uh, it depends on the context. If you if you say uh, you can say, "Oh uh, dear, I'm so sorry to hear that you're suffering." Okay, and this is absolutely appropriate. But if you say a patient is suffering from something, no, that is not acceptable because that is judgmental language. Uh, but that is um, when you're describing somebody has an illness, you don't say they're suffering from the illness. You say they have the illness. Okay. But uh, yeah, ob obviously she is suffering. Uh, so, but you can say, oh, sorry to hear that you're suffering so much. <laughs> In the context. So it depends on the context. Um, okay. Uh, anything else? No, no. No, okay. What do you think? Uh, I think uh, she has uh, some problem with uh, asking some question not relevant to this tax. For example, when the patient says that uh, I have several time this uh, ulcer and all time it heal, it heal and again come, we don't need to ask um, family history of cancer and talk about this because it's, it is something that relieved by uh, itself. Uh, and also I think the time management is very important uh, and uh, she can't manage the time. Okay, uh, so um, how can we wrap up um, and how how do you know that it is taking too long? Uh, um,
Uh, did you feel that you are running out of time? Did you did you feel that your it's taking too long? No. <laughs> no, you you didn't. Okay. I didn't feel. <laughs> And that uh, uh, after school, sir, in 40 percentage, it is uh, written that it's family, familial. And I asked uh, because of that. Okay. Uh, after uh, stomatitis, okay. After, after, say, after. 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 After, after, after stomatitis after. or after ulcer. After. Uh, after. Also. Um, yeah, but uh, you know. Uh, it is okay to ask about uh, family history or previous history, but uh, you can make it shorter when you uh, don't uh, spend too much time on that because it doesn't get you any marks. You need to be very quick with that. Okay. Uh, okay. Basically, um, so the way I would I would do here is actually say, okay, uh, so how long have you had it? And uh, she says, well, uh, at some of the information, she actually, or he, uh, he actually volunteered uh, to say that she's, he's had it in, as a child. And um, also a few months ago, started a new job and is very stressful. So you can relate to those. Okay. Um, right. I related it in my uh, giving information that I said that one of the, uh, causes of that is stress that you mentioned you have it in your work yes that's right okay so um, okay uh, tell me what happened to the ice ice was uh, tomorrow's meeting and uh, the healing as soon as possible and I said that I can help you uh, first of all I said that I totally understand how it might hard for you in this work and uh, I said that I can help you by painkillers and anti-inflammatories that can uh, lessen your pain and help you by uh, some uh, by to, uh, tomorrow's uh, meeting okay lessen lessen the, the pain or lessen. alleviate the pain or yep yeah. Uh, improve the pain lesson lesson uh, yes. okay lesson uh, or alleviate yeah uh, right uh, so alleviate. The ex alleviate 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 uh, am ameliorate okay <laughs> Yeah, uh, ameliorate. Yeah, you can say that. Uh, um, alleviate is is used uh, uh, quite commonly, uh, or lessen, or uh, improve. Uh, so uh, the expectation was tomorrow's meeting and prevention of further. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, further ulcers. <coughs> uh, okay, so uh, uh, ideas, concerns? Uh, tomorrow's meeting and expectation improve quickly. Okay, and uh, any cues? Uh, stress in work. Okay. Uh, right, so cues uh, are, yeah, um, stress at work, uh, what else? Father's uh, cancer. Father's cancer, uh, okay. Uh, uh, how childhood, about? the history from childhood. Uh, well, no, that's not a cue. But uh, the cue, one of the cues is actually uh, so hard speaking, uh, speaking and uh, eating and even drinking. Okay. Okay. Um, so mm -hmm. um, basically, and he said uh, it interferes with his work. So th therefore, it causes even more stress. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, let's sum up. Um, well, what we could do here was to have a shorter questioning and um, 
um, what you need to do is uh, to be very targeted, okay? In the, um, okay? in the first part, when you are preparing yourself, uh, prepare and decide uh, what questions to ask, okay? Um, okay. okay. About uh, overuse of some summarizing. Well, you can summarize as many times as you want, but uh, it takes your time. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you don't know what to do next, or you don't know where you are. Uh, you can summarize. So, um, once or twice uh, is usual. More than that is um, unusual. So, um, yes, I mean, it's uh, basically, if you summarize, it is helpful, but if you summarize too much, then it interferes and it, uh, you lose a lot of time. Um, but you probably uh, summarize twice or three times. Um, and the first time you summarized, I think it was a little bit too early. You, you could actually, because there was just maybe two items to check. So you could you could carry on and ask more questions and then, but uh, what I'm saying is uh, I wouldn't say don't do that. Uh, you can do that if you think you need to uh, take your time or you need to um, to concentrate. So that is fine. Yes. Um, yes. In showing empathy, uh, yeah, you need to um, uh, say that. Uh, I mean, if whenever the patient says, every time the patient says. Uh, that I have difficulty or I have a problem or I have pain, you need to say, you need to empathize. You need to say, oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, oh, oh dear. Um, uh, overall, it was good, I think. You, your fluency is better. Uh, your pronunciation, you need to uh, check pronunciations. Um, okay. Uh, right. And chunking and checking as mentioned I think you you need to chunk uh, don't uh, talk very long sentences after one or two sentences just uh, check okay, okay. Uh, doctor yes uh, uh, in this case if patient uh, smokes right. and and since smoking has a protective uh, effect on uh, after uh, we we are allowed to um, tell the patient about the benefit of smoking. <laughs> <laughs> is it is yeah. it useful? Yeah, I I, I don't know. I uh, well, um, if there is a, if you have something. Uh, which is evidence-based, you can say that. If it's not evidence-based, you cannot say that. Okay? Okay. Yep. Uh, right.